Welcome to SkySiv. This is going to be a quick onboarding video about the SkySiv Reinforced Concrete Design Module. The SkySiv Reinforced Concrete Design Module is primarily used alongside SkySiv Structure 3D to design members of various materials in accordance with building codes around the world. It can also be used as a standalone module, but it is not common. So because of this, we're going to go through the integrated version. And subsequently, we're going to be using the simple concrete mowing frame for the example. So as you can see, we ran the analysis on our frame. There's a variety of different load combinations vertical and lateral loads. If we just take a look at some of the results here. So after you're done running an analysis, come up to the design button, click on start new code, then click on the reinforced concrete design button, select the code you want to use, and hit start. And now we're in the module. Similar to other SkySiv design modules, you can document project and client information and notes in the Project Details tab. In the Settings tab, you can set the iteration number for finding the neutral axis as well as the number of points on the M-N interaction curve. Also make sure to check out the deflection check properties as well. So moving over to the Members tab, we can see all three members of our frame are eligible for design. If there are other members in your model that are steel or another material, they would not show up here. So the solver is going to recognize inputs such as member length and effective length factors, as well as deflection coefficients, and then being able to either consider or not consider them, as well as the member type. Any column that's not grayed out is, is editable, so you can change the factors or any, any type of number or value that is not grayed out manually. And all of these attributes may differ depending on what code you're working in. Moving on, the bulk of the work is done here in the RC layouts page. You can select which members you want to design the reinforcement for here. The integrated version of the module should recognize the geometry and dimensions of your members. Always make sure to double check your rebar strength and concrete strength as well. Moving down, the layout diagram will show you the elevation view of your members reinforcement. This diagram in combination with the section diagram here will let you have a great picture of what you're to add rebar in either direction. Come down to the rebar layers and zone section and either click on the add longitudinal rebar layer or add shear rebar layer section. So for example, let's add a longitudinal rebar layer. We'll change the top bottom distance to five, change the number of bars to two, and we'll keep all the cover and everything else the same. If we come back up, we see that the section diagram has changed as well as the layout diagram has indicated that longitudinal bar there as well. Whenever you're done adjusting the, the layout of a member, make sure to come up here and click on Save Layouts. If you wanted to copy a layout from one member and apply it to a variety of other members, for example, we, we changed the rebar for member one here. If you wanted to apply it to member three, you would click on this Copy Layouts button and move over member three. So this is assigned member three. This is the member that will be assigned all of the things that you have checked here. So we're going to Keep all of these things selected, including member type, section, and size, properties, member reinforcement, and deflection control. And now if we go to member three, member three has the same exact rebar layout. The last thing I wanna mention is at the bottom here, make sure to check your deflection control settings. After you're done layering the rebar in your project, move on to the forces tab. This is where you'd indicate the points along the member you would like the solver to check for. By default, the solver is going to check at mid-span and both ends. If you wanted to add a checkpoint, click on the Add Checkpoint button and then indicate along what percentage of the member you want it to be checked. In this case, it has a checkpoint at 11.11% because we had a distributed load that ends at that point. So the solver will pick up some uh, irregularities in the member and add checkpoints at that position. If you scroll down, you can see force diagrams for all the different forces, including bending moment in both directions, axial force, and shear in both directions. And it's gonna show all of the individual load cases themselves because when you go to the load combinations tab, this will show your list of load combinations for both ultimate strength and serviceability. So make sure that although the if you use the integrated version with Structure 3D, it will pull all of the load combinations for strength, make sure you adjust the load combinations for serviceability uh, to match your needs. And lastly, make sure to identify the special load cases for sustained load slenderness, dead load, and live load, both for column slenderness and deflection. When you're ready to check your project, come up to the top and either click on check or run design. 
So at the results page, you will see that there are two options for viewing, sections and members. The sections option will show you the checks for each of the members and at all of the checkpoints. From here, you can also click on any individual member design report. If you wanted to see a little more of a non-granular view, click on the members and you'll see that it takes the worst case scenario limit states for a single member. So we can see that for all three of our members, the design is not sufficient. Let's take a look at one of the example design reports. For beams, there's going to be a beam report for each section position and for columns, there'll be one report for the entire member. Click on one of the blue member design report icons. This is going to load up the detailed member report. If you have a professional account, you can have a custom logo show here. And then to promote transparency within our platform, we are showing these detailed member, member reports so that you can really see how each calculation is completed and where the results came from. So this is the beam. We didn't actually change the reinforcement, so this is the reinforced section view. And then it's going to go through all of the different required design checks for this beam. From here, you can either print this as a PDF or as an HTML file, close it, and then go back into the RC layouts design and manipulate the reinforcement. So for that beam we had, we can add reinforcement here or add shear reinforcement or adjust the materials properties or the dimensions. You always wanna make sure that when those are completed to always hit save layouts. Then you can come back and hit check and run your design again. That's gonna wrap up this quick run through of the integrated reinforced concrete design module used in conjunction with Structure 3D. Make sure to check out our software documentation for more in-depth information.